God, this is Mike Johnson from Love Rising Lutheran Church, uh, inviting you to, in, to join us again on what we're calling our biblical treasure hunt um, for truth during these 40 days of the Lenten season. And today uh, we are reading a text from the book of Romans. Um, Romans, the third chapter, I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible, and it reads, Romans 3.21 begins, But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been disclosed and is attested by the law and the prophets. The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe for there is no distinction, since all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. They are now justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a sacrifice of atonement by his blood, effective through faith. He did this to show his righteousness because in his divine forbearance, he had passed over the sins previously committed. It was to prove at the present time that he himself is righteous and that he justifies the one who has faith in Jesus. Then what becomes of boasting it is excluded by what law by that of works no but by the law of faith for we hold that person that a person is justified by faith apart from works prescribed by the law or is God the God of Jews only is he not the God of Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also, since God is one and he will justify the circumcised on the ground of faith and the uncircumcised through that same faith. Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. Amen. And in this um, passage, uh, when Paul um, clearly declares that uh, we are all sinners and it is only through the grace of God that we are saved and not through our actions, uh, a term that we call uh, works righteousness does not save us. And I guess for us to think about, now there are a couple of things to think about in this text, but um, what if we really believed in God's grace? <laughs> Amen. Uh, what if we really believed in God's grace and we knew that everybody was, was sinners saved by grace and we, uh, chose leaders from the standpoint of those who were able to confess the most. Those who were able, instead of leaders and politicians like we have now who are elected because they are the best liars and the best liars get elected, what if we chose leaders based on this grace, uh, based on this whole notion that we are all sinners and we start from there. What would our society look like? What would our church look like? What would our community look like? Amen.